You're watching Up Post Live. I'm Caitlin Becker, and let's get serious here. Everyone's favorite part of the Golden Globes is, of course, the fashion. This year, the style did not disappoint on the red carpet. It was a great year for color, lots of gorgeous red dresses, but not everybody got it right. Joining me to take a look at who takes home the award for best dressed and who failed miserably is HuffPost associate fashion editor Michelle Prasad and senior beauty editor of HuffPost Style Dana Oliver. Welcome, ladies. Hey, Caitlin. I thought it was a good year. <laughs> we were so disappointed at the Emmys. Yes. I think the Emmys was meh, but I was so <laughs> pleasantly surprised with the Golden Globes. I thought it, everybody looked great, and it's something that um, I noted last night when I was talking about this with my fiance, is we, he and I were watching it, he realized he didn't love a lot of the dresses, but he thought most of the women looked beautiful. I thought it was a great year oh, wow. for hair and makeup. Yeah, definitely a great year, much to talk about on Twitter, so that was very exciting. All right, let's get into it. Our, let's start off with best beauty. My favorite of the night, beauty, dress, you name it, I loved it, Lupita Nyong'o. She is just, I, I didn't think she could look any more beautiful and then she hits the red carpet and does this. Right, I think I tweeted this about three times. You know, she looked flawless from head to toe and I love that she you know, did something different with her fade haircut and she blew it out at the top to kind of give it you know, some volume and a little bit edge and of course here she is you know, with her amazing flawless skin. Lupita, tell me your secret. I'm still waiting to know. It's glowy. Yes. She's got a little Grace Jones going on with yes. the hair and I love it. And she didn't overdo the makeup because she wore that spectacular red dress and the makeup is simple. Yes. It's also hard when you're doing, she doesn't have a ton of hair and she was doing something low cut. So a lot of her skin was shown at the top and the skin on her face and the skin on her body were flawless. Right. The camera kept cutting to her and it was just like, a, she was like a vision, she was literally glowing. I, I just can't with her, <laughs> I, can't, I can't. Every time she hits the red carpet, I'm so excited to see what she wears. So Lupita, you did an amazing job. All right, next up on our best beauty is Olivia Wilde. She's got that pregnant mama glow. Yes, another woman who has, you know, a glow here, but of course, you know, she's expecting and she looks amazing. Um, I love how she has this like smoky purple eye makeup going on and it just makes her green eyes pop. And here's the ombre hair that, you know, you know, we debate whether ombre is still in or out, but I think she works it really well with this emerald green dress. It's almost like the severe ombre, which I had a severe ombre for a little <laughs> while that I had to get rid of. The severe ombre is out, but something that's subtle that actually looks like her hair has sort of grown out a little bit or she's been in the sun is a different story. I love the down hair. Looks a little bit like your hair today. <laughs> I think she looked spectacular. Yes. The green eyes, I can't even. Wait, the green eyes with the green dress is just... its They're the same color. <laughs> that's the thing that's astonishing, is they're the exact same color and spectacular. All right, next up on our best beauty, loving her lips this year, is Jennifer Lawrence. The lips are great. Yes, love, love, love these lips. And also, you know, the haircut, it's really, she's really starting to own it. And I love how, you know, with the lips, she did do this, like, sort of, like, shimmery, you know, you know, hazy gray sort of, you know, eye makeup that can kind of look dated. Um, but here it just works because she has this amazing lash and then her eyes are lined to perfection. But once again, it's all about this lip color. The lip is amazing. All right, next up on our best beauty was a presenter last night, Reese Witherspoon. She doesn't seem to age. No. <laughs> she just looks, I don't know if it's the, if it's seasonal for me because we are in the middle of January, but right. she does look California. Sunkist. And that's her look. And you know what? If it works for Reese, you know, don't change it whatsoever. And I love how her angled uh, bob haircut is just growing out so perfectly. Is this a lob? Mm, not necessarily. We're it's, not it's... a bob and we're almost a lob. Because <laughs> the lob is in this year, guys. The lob is in. All right. Next up on our best beauty is Sandra Bullock. The From the chest up. <laughs> she's a 10. We'll get to the dress later. Yeah, let's, let's pause get to the dress that. later. But from the chest up, she's a 10. Her skin is glowing. I don't know who does her work, but I want to be Sandra Bullock <laughs> when I grow up. And you know what? It's very rare that we see like a low ponytail on the red carpet, but I love this casual hairstyle. And then she also matched her um, lip color to her dress, and it's just flawless. It, it's something that I've noticed that every single one of these girls has perfect skin, whether it's a perfect makeup job or the lighting is right. Just their skin glows, and when your skin glows, it... Yeah, you don't really need to do much else. If you have, you know, perfect skin, just own that. 
Absolutely. All right, let's move on to some best fashion that we liked. A little repeat action from our best beauty, Olivia Wilde. It's so good to see someone pregnant on the best list, Michelle. I know. Um, I was so excited when she came out in this. I think, um, I've said this before, that oftentimes when people are pregnant, they wear a sort of a moo moo dress and they try to cover all their curves, but I love how she's just showing off her figure. She looks amazing, and like we said, she's matching the dress to her eyes. I just, this is a 10. Me. It's it's amazing for me how much material is on the dress and how much beaded material. It could be overwhelming, it could be a lot, and it looks somehow understated. Because I think because it's so tight too, so you know it, it's not too much material. Right. She's not getting lost in it. She looks spectacular. All right, next up on our best dress is Marco Robbie. Wow. This is someone that we're gonna be she watching out for on the red carpet now. Is a smoke show. <laughs> I, this is she looks unreal. That slit, that beading, her hair. She is, I mean, on the red on the, on, um, the red carpet, someone asked her if she was seeing anyone, and she said no, and then they were like, well, not for long. She is going to be scooped up fast. Mm. Okay, but this guy looks real judgy. <laughs> the guy in the background, real, He's just, he's real just judgy. pissed he's not dating. Yeah. Absolutely. I, it, this, to me, looks very Hollywood glamour. Definitely. Um, and I love that she's done white. Uh, I, I mean, I, I can't say enough positive things about this. And she's a relatively a newcomer right. in, in, on the red carpet and in, in Hollywood, and so that's definitely someone we will be looking out for. All right, next up on our best, Amy Poehler made the list. She looked great yes. last night. <laughs> All throughout the night, she looked amazing. This is with her red carpet outfit. It's Stella McCartney. I love, I love her in black. I love blondes in black. I love the tiny cutout. I love how it fits her. Um, I love the halter style neckline. Um, we always talk about fit and tailoring, and here is one of those dresses that has been tailored to her body to a T. Right, and you can also see um, her nice small waist there because she's defined it, which right. is great. I think her the beauty on her looked amazing yes. too. The hair and makeup is great. Hair and makeup, yeah. And I usually it, it's kind of iffy when you wear your hair down with a halter type dress, but it just like Michelle says with this amazing blonde hair, it just pops. It really, really worked. All right, next up on best dressed is Amy Adams, big award winner of the night. I loved her American Hustle inspired dress. It was. I mean, and clearly this plunging neckline really works on her because she has a bit of a smaller bust so she can pull it off and, you know, she doesn't have to wear a bra. <laughs> I love the color on her. I, it, she just looks so milky and dewy and, and gorgeous and then she's got hair with sort of subtle braids in it, which is really pretty. I love this look. In the back, you can't see it here, but it was completely open. Amazing. I love that she did rock a cape and I really hate capes. Oh, man. Mm. If it's just, I'm not a cape person. If you can make me like a cape, I am... Just that that's, you've done an amazing job of keeping <laughs> like a cape, but I hated the cape with it, but with the cape off. Stunning. Right. Stunning. Speaking of capes, last up on our best dress, who actually made me love a cape, is Lupita Nyong'o. This was my favorite of the night. I have never seen anything this incredible. I think that she has blown Gwyneth Paltrow's white Tom Ford with the oh, cape right. out of the water. Hands no one's going to remember that. No question This is that. Ralph Lauren, and when she walks, just how it how it flowed behind her was so gorgeous. I love the color on her. I love the shape on her. I love how you can see sort of the neckline of the dress with her short hair. That's the perfect, perfect neckline for her. Um, it was just so simple and she didn't overdo the makeup or the accessories. It was just so minimalist and gorgeous. It's so simple and so unexpected. Definitely. Which is really, really refreshing. I think that ne this time next year, she will be our breakout fashion star of the year. I think oh, she yeah. already is. I think she's, she's already there. Oh, Lupita. I <laughs> love it so much. All right, let's talk about people who didn't get it great. Oh. Zoe Deschanel on our worst beauty. Dana, this is bad. I mean... Zoe sort of likes that, you know, retro-inspired look, but I just want her to really try something different. Let's, you know, the Oscars are coming up. That's another big night. Zoe, you know, not only is this, you know, too, like, dated, but it's also very childish. You know, why she the bangs and the... She needs to grow up. She's yeah, not 25 anymore, and that look doesn't look great on a grown-up, unfortunately. And <laughs> it's beautiful. You know, but, yeah, she pulled that off Lily from Modern Family. Absolutely, she's eight. But she <laughs> exactly. Eight years old. All right. Speaking of Modern Family, ooh, Sarah Hyland on our worst beauty with the brows, the brows, and the braids. When she stepped onto the red carpet, I mean, we you couldn't miss her. The brows were the first thing that you saw, and then with this braid, she's such a small actress. It just it's very overwhelming. And the, the rest of the makeup is barely even done, and the brow, and she's done, I feel like I've seen her in the Milkmaid braid before. Right. It, again, it just isn't grown up. No. You either have to be really older and mature and sophisticated to pull off something as casual as that, right. or 
Lily from Modern Family who's going to be wearing all of these looks. <laughs> all right, next up in Worst Beauty is Amber Heard, one of the most beautiful Ooh. women on the red carpet, and her hair is a hot mess. A hot mess. And I don't know if you guys have the side profile photo of this hairstyle, but I mean... It's, there it is. Mm. Yeah, I mean, let's just take a moment to take all of that in. It's a lot of hair, a lot of hairspray. And you know what? I actually think this would work for a fashion editorial, but on the red carpet, it's too much. It looks sloppy on the red carpet. Yes. And that looks is like a rat's nest. nest. It's definitely not the look that you want to do. And the next up on our worst beauty, Lena Dunham. She didn't make worse, um, you know, she, she didn't, her dress, worst thing okay. her dress wasn't worth talking about, but you know what, Lena, I'm, once again, this is another example of Hollywood stars that need to grow up their beauty look. The hair is bad. Yeah, and it looks like her lipstick is smeared, you know, across her teeth, and then the eyeliner is very harsh. A beautiful girl, but it's just time to, you know, get a new glam squad, girl. The lipstick is not a great color for her complexion either. It no, looks not at all. dated. It looks like something Hannah from Girls would wear. Right. Which Oof. is a shame. <sighs> really bad. All right, last up on our worst beauty, again with the fucking hair, Jessica Chastain. Gotta do something different with her hair because she has gorgeous hair. Gorgeous. One of my favorite redheads, but I just, it, it really upsets me every time she hits the red carpet and it, she just, <sighs> yeah. This is what your hair looks like right before they put your updo up. They tease it, they push it back, back, and she looked like she was just about to get it put into some sort of beautiful chignon. Right, back. and I think, like you said, a beautiful chignon or some, you know, elegant updo would have really turned this entire look around, but, I'm, you know, this lipstick is also outdated. It's not good, I'm sorry. All right, worst dress. She was on our best beauty, and she's kicking off our worst dress. Sandra Bullock, from the chest, the waist up is so beautiful in the waist down, what is happening? It's such a shame because I was really looking forward to her outfit because she has been killing it on the red carpet in the past few months, but this look just fell short. I mean, I think head to toe, uh, silk is really hard to wear, especially for an award show where you're gonna be sitting and standing and then sitting, it looks really wrinkled, it needs to be steamed. Um, I also think she needs a belt or something to define her waist. I think she's just getting lost in the material. I also don't like the colors. Um, they're whole host of issues here. I don't like any of it. I'm sorry. The shoes are good. The shoes. The shoes are great. This is just, no. <laughs> I don't like it. Sad to say, another one who made our best beauty is on our worst dressed. Jennifer Lawrence is up. Oof, this dress. It's, it skews a little bridal, and also from the back, it kind of looks like a diaper. Um, it all that a beautiful fit on her. It isn't a beautiful cut. And I have up this HuffPost article about the Jennifer Lawrence <laughs> comparisons. We have here Jennifer Lawrence and Ariel from The Little Mermaid. And it just invited a whole host of people taking their duvet <laughs> covers and belts <laughs> and showing us what they got. This guy's my favorite because he did the actual face of her sneaking up on Taylor Swift there. And then finally, oh, all of these and then I mean, if you the both can create your Golden Globes dress with a duvet and a belt, that's, that's probably a not a great dress. Probably not a great dress. And sad to say, this is on our worst dress since her co counterpart was on our best dress, Tina Fey. I thought her dress is in the show. Amazing. Great. This is prom. Yeah. I mean, I was excited to see a print on the red carpet, but not this print. I think it's childish. I think it flares out uh, way too much in the hip area. I also don't like how she's done the half up, half down hair. Right. I think the whole look is just juvenile and she is so stunning as proven by her looks later on in the show that she could have just come out with a bang and something much The better. half up, half yeah. down hair. Someone just... made a great comparison that she, it's, it's very Kate Middleton. And like you said, the dress mm -hmm. is very prom. So with a half up, half down hair, it's just really, oh, Not Tina. even senior prom, it's junior prom. <laughs> <laughs> worse. Sad to say that one of our pregnant starlets made it on the worst dress oh. list. Drew Barrymore in this. So I, you know, originally I felt sort of bad putting her on worse because she is pregnant, but she's been pregnant before and she's done such a better job than she did tonight. Okay, you can't see that she's pregnant, A. B, if she wasn't pregnant, this is still an ugly dress. <laughs> Take a cue from Olivia Wilde. This is just, this is hideous. I think she looks like a cupcake. Um, I think it's way too juvenile. Um, I, I don't like, there's too many embellishments going on. I don't like the shoes. I don't like the clutch. And she shouldn't cover up her shape. Like, show off your bum. Be proud of, you know, be she proud of whatever it. she wants with her bum. <laughs> that dress is just ugly no matter what. And I'm sorry about that. It just is. But there is something to be said about the pregnant glow because her skin looks great. Yes. 
Looks stunning. absolutely beautiful. All right, and last up on our worst dress mm. list. When she walked out, everyone probably had the same reaction. Here is Paula Patton. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, so speechless. We are speechless. It I looks think, like a I Georgia O'Keeffe painting. This is something that exactly <laughs> nice, subtle way to say it. Um, I think this is something that again would maybe work in an editorial or on the runway, but not on the red carpet. That ruffle is just way too big. It kind of looks like a bunch of different Kleenexes she's strung on there. Um, and a few other references that I, I won't say, but this is this is awful. But her hair and makeup looks great. She's yeah, stunning. You can't even see it <laughs> behind all she's that She's being stuff. eaten by this ruffle. Oh, the ruffle is so bad. That is one of the worst things we I've seen on the red carpet. In, <laughs> it's just, who is it by? Do we know who it's by? Uh, Stefan Roland. Oh, Stefan Roland, why? All right, so let's crown our ultimate worst in beauty. Dana? Amber Heard. Don't do this ever again. And the shimmer eyes. Are, yeah. And the shimmer lips. A lot of shimmer and a lot of mess right there. <laughs> All right, ultimate best? Uh, without a question, it's Lapita. Oh, my God. She just looks perfect. Perfect. Everyone should want to look like that. <laughs> Everyone should want to walk out and be able to look that perfect and understated. Right. I love it so much. All right, no really surprise here with the ultimate worst. Paula Patton. Oh, Paula Patton, and she's so pretty. She's so pretty. Better not next time. I mean, she could literally wear anything else and it would be better than this. That needs to be burned. That <laughs> absolutely needs to be burned. And ultimate best, another white dress. Mario Robbie. This is, this is the girl to watch, guys. She clearly knows exactly what she's doing. She looks a little bit like um, Jamie uh, Presley to me. She does. She does. I definitely a lot. has wow. that, that look to her, but she, the, she, I can't tell you how sophisticated I think she looks, even though she's showing a low V and a high slit and still looks stunning. Absolute, absolute stunning. All right, I'm excited for next award show. I don't know which one it is, but we're going to be doing this <laughs> Sag awards. time. Sag Awards. Dana and Michelle. I will see you both on Friday, where we're going to talk best and worst of the week. And you can see all of the red carpet hits and misses from last night, Golden Globes, and so much more in our resource well below. Stay here. Up next, we're talking trending stories.